Uh, Vladimir in Los Angeles, you're on with Shane and Matt. Welcome to the show. It's good because it says here you've got hey, proof. You've got proof uh, that God is proof scientific. Uh, hello. 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 Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Not really. It's cutting out. Me? It's cutting How about out. Now? A little bit better. How about now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. What's this proof of okay. God? Okay, uh, I took it off. I took it off of the um, speaker. Yeah, I got. Yeah, man. Of course, there's proof. All you gotta do is look around. The creation proves the creator. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I see a dog. Uh-huh. I see a vacuum. Are you serious, or are you just you know? What do you mean? Quarantine. Wait, I, I well, just I wonder if sometimes if you guys are serious. Yeah, I am serious. And what you said you know, is that so if I looked so around, so, I'll see proof so, of God. And I just looked around, and I didn't see proof of God. So, so what's, look, what's worse is that every so as a machine. No, no I'm going to mute huh? you for a second, Vladimir, and then I will let you speak again. But what, the reason I ask if you're serious is because you literally came up with one of the most obviously boneheaded, incorrect, fallacious garbage arguments that could possibly exist, one that we've debunked a gazillion to one times on this show, uh, which is that creation needs a creator. Okay, you don't get to look around at the universe, call it a creation, and then say it requires a creator. You have to demonstrate that it is a creation, and you do that by demonstrating that it was in fact created. How can you do that? I can, but you you just want to talk. You don't let me talk. You say you're going to okay. mute me if I talk. I don't know. I just, you you got to no, your you own show. Because you, you were talking no. over us. Nope. I have zero fucks to give. I offered an explanation of why I don't think you're serious. I then asked you if you could do it, and I unmuted you. And instead of saying, yes, I can, here I go, you want to suggest that I'm just not allowing you talk. How stupid do you have to be to suggest that after I ask you to please make your case, and unmute you, that the best thing for you to say is that I just won't let you talk. Now, I'm going to try this again. Can you demonstrate that this is, in fact, a creation with a creator? And there we go. Are you guys there? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Cool. So, yeah, you ready? I've been waiting my life. So, is a machine... Is a if you see a machine, uh, you would think that that just kind of popped uh, together all by itself. No, no like because like I a, have examples of like machines camera. being made, but, so but, I, I can you, compare uh, how a machine. I have examples uh, of machines being made to compare them you to. Need to find right? So, so if you didn't see the uh, uh, how a machine was made, means it, it just, just popped out machine. of the air because just because you didn't no. see it. Because you didn't see how it was made, you didn't you didn't get to go in God's workshop and look over. So, okay, so now I'm muting yeah. you and I'm not letting you talk. Uh, I will let you back on in just a second. As I've said several times here, you need to define machine. But you asked us if we saw a machine, would we just conclude that it popped out of nowhere? And we said no. And then you continued as if we had said yes. So, do you plan to actually listen to us and engage on this level, or are you just talking? Well, no, you guys are uh, chickens with that mute over there. You can't talk man to man. You got the little coward I, mute I button. Did. Okay, you know, first you, why of all. Why don't you talk man to man? Keep okay. muting me like a little. Now your ass is muted. There is no I'm opportunity not, to talk man to man. And if I. You, no, stop. I will not be taking you off mute because you're going to sit there and you're going to listen to me lecture you about the stupidity and sexism involved in your attempt to troll this show. And I'm going to continue to lecture you about it and never let you back off of mute. And you can sit there and think that I'm a coward. But the truth is, on the multiple occasions where we've asked you to demonstrate this, all you've done is shit talk and say literally the stupidest things we've ever heard that we've dealt with for all the years of doing this show. So if you want to talk man to man, go find yourself some man to talk to. Uh, Because I don't care what gender you are or whether or not you want to think that you're going to exercise your machismo here. I'm willing to let you make the case for your God, provided it doesn't lower everybody else's IQ in the process. Did you understand what I said? Yeah. 
Well, well, why are you so uh, angry if over you there? What I <laughs> You're really upset. Okay. Well, it's because part of part of it is because you're really frustrating. You're not really giving us anything. And then and then after that being pointed out to you, all you do is say, "Oh, you don't want to talk man to man. You want to appeal to this masculinity macho thing and try to call us cowards and chickens because of the fact that we had to explain to you that you were interrupting and we needed to fucking talk." That you hadn't defined any terms. That- and if and if muting you is an act of cowardice, then you can consider me a straight up bitch because I think it, I think it's about time we hang up on you. You're, you. This conversation is useless. I don't see it going anywhere with you. You're providing nothing other than the teleological argument, which is just the idea that, oh, if I saw something, say a watch, say a painting, and I came across it, would I think that it just came from nothing or that I had a creator? Actually, I would think that I had a creator. Why? Because I have other examples of them being made that I can compare them to. I don't have that with the universe. I have not one other example of a universe being created. And the reason why I know that a watch or a painting that I stumbled across was designed as opposed to the trees that it's next to is because I don't have examples of those being designed. I have examples of them growing out of the ground. I have examples of plenty of things happening that have no consciousness whatsoever. Plenty of examples of causality without um, consciousness. Does water think to evaporate? Is there any consciousness involved in water vapor becoming heavy enough to fall? No, rain happens and there's no consciousness whatsoever. So no, the fact that something is complex doesn't prove that it's designed. And I've heard this argument a million times and whether you wanna use a painting or a watch or a machine or a cell phone, it's the same bullshit. Sorry, I'm done. No, nah, no, it's, it's actually worse than that because so the reason to get him to define machine, because I don't think that he had a good understanding of what a machine is in his head, like in most people's head, a machine is like, you know, uh, here's the car. But you know what else is a machine? A simple lever, which means a stick can be a machine when when used. And so a stick being naturally occurring. And so I, w- I was talking about this thing of, OK, you need to define what you mean by machine. And yet he just kept going with the, so you guys think a machine would just pop into, because you weren't in there when God made it, you think machines just popped into well, existence. And I'm right. like, that's not even remotely anything close to what we were saying. Well, here's what I do know about machines, and a watch would fit the category of a machine, is that watchmakers don't make them out of nothing. That a watch is a rearrangement of matter that already existed. So the question then becomes, what did God use to make the universe? Did he just make it out of nothing? Because if so, that's a pretty pathetic um, counter to defend your argument when you're trying to argue against something coming from nothing. And in order to do so, have to support the notion that God used nothing to create everything. Okay. And and it's worse than that because you're looking at a watch and a pile of poop and asking – you, you could look at the pile of poop and say, what did God use to create the pile of poop? What did God use to create the watch? Hang on. You're putting the cart before the horse. We have no reason to think that these things were made by a God to begin with. And my favorite part of it is that the argument is one making that uh, if you see something and it's complex, then that argues that it was designed. Okay. Well, then God is the most complex being in the universe. Then doesn't that mean that he must be designed? Oh, No. Apparently, this argument of that's complex, therefore it was designed, doesn't apply to the most complex thing that exists. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's bullshit, and it's fucking stupid. So 